Hi, my name is Kendall and I am here talking with WRA 260 students on what they learned this semester. Let's start off with an easy question. What is rhetoric? Uh, I... Ah, meaning they don't know the answer to the question and therefore they fill their silence with vocalization. Uh, well, I, I learned a lot in class so I'm just trying to sift through all that in my brain. Right. Well, according to Brummett, rhetoric is power. The exciting thing about life is that everything can be charged with meaning, and if you know what these meanings are based on the audience, you got the power! Yes, okay. Next question. What is a sign? I saw the sign, and it opened up my eye. A sign is everything that makes you think of something else. Like the word sign made this idiot think of that song. What? I, uh, yes, okay, moving on, fill in the blank. Where there's smoke, there's people smoking. When there's smoke, there's wood. Yes, sometimes, but this is a hard question. Where there's smoke, there's, oh, a fire. The meanings are endless. Totally. You know what's interesting is how much Kairos was relevant in all of our readings this semester. None of our readings talked about gyros. Uh, uh, Kairos, not gyros. Kairos is one of the main reasons why many of these works of writing came about. In the Douglas and Lord readings, the motivation behind the speech was to encourage activism in a time of injustice. Well done. Now I have a scrap of rhetoric that I would like you two to analyze to see what rhetorical skills you have gained this semester. This is a picture of a television. What does it mean to you? Well, it makes me kind of sad that the TV isn't on. Like, what else would the people be doing? Deep. Well, the picture is a picture of a Panasonic television. Panasonic is a successful electronics corporation that competes with many other companies like Sony, Toshiba, Samsung, etc. The TV is a rather large TV compared to the Wii, therefore the owner of this TV must be relatively well off. Additionally, the owner of this TV owns a Wii, PS2, and multiple games, therefore they must enjoy video games. And there is also a snowman in the bottom right hand corner which suggests Kairos, which means that this photo must have been taken during the winter time. Yes! Look at all the meanings that can be found in just one picture. Well done, you two. Now, we had a lot of very good discussions this semester, and one of my favorites was the one on silence. What did you learn from this discussion? Silence, in Lord's case, is not an effective means of creating change. In a time of injustice, it is important to speak out and communicate with others in order for your issues to be resolved. Yeah, but silence can be good too. It can be a form of respect. Just like how you cut me off? Oh, uh, sorry. Silence can also be used as a form of punishment. Would you like to go sit in the corner over there in silence while everyone enjoys their recess? Recess? Uh, no, I guess. Fine. Uh, whoa now, we don't want to start an aggressive argument. Well, I'm not a man, so my argument is not going to be as aggressive. But additionally, arguments don't have to be aggressive like Tannen talked about. Often the most effective arguments are the arguments that are debates and are persuasive and refute the other side of the issue. Totally. On a positive note, what do you two think you will take away from this class? Well, I bought the Tannen book and, and I still have that, uh, but it gave me tips on getting a better tan which I should probably just give to someone else, maybe to someone who doesn't burn as easily as I do. I'm excited to use my multimodal project in my portfolio, and I am so pumped to use my rhetorical skills in future classes and projects. Great. That is great to hear. Sounds like a successful class.